Hi guys. It is April 11, 2019. What is happening in Brooklyn, New York with uh, Comrade de Blasio, who has mandated vac yeah, everybody get vaccinate, uh, vaccinated with the MMR, not only children, all adults as well, within, uh, I think, five zip codes in Brooklyn. Um, this should concern everyone. This, I believe, is a test case to see how far they can get with this mandate. Mandatory vaccination is coming for all of us. And it's coming 2020, 2021. The CDC already has their adult vaccine schedule. So watch what's happening in New York. I have said for eight years, everybody needs to be proactive. You need to get involved in your communities, organize with other community members, find out what's going on in your town councils regarding Agenda 21, uh, Agenda 2030. Um, find out what it, I said when it was the big news eight years ago, the Department of Homeland Security had infiltrated local sheriff departments, local police departments. I said, get proactive. Organize with other people, demand a meeting with your police and your sheriff departments, um, and find out if the Department of Homeland Security had, in fact, infiltrated, and you pay their salary, you tell them that you're not going to go along with all of this unconstitutional activity that is taking place all over the country, and if you begin to behave in such a way, you will not pay their salaries. Well, guess what? Getting Americans to do anything is almost impossible. Impossible. So why do you think we are living what we are living now with this guy demanding that everyone, even adults, get vaccinated if you cannot prove, if you do not have your papers to prove that you have been vaccinated with the MMR or have an immunity to the measles? Authorities going door to door, interviewing residents in these zip codes, um, interviewing them to find out if they've been diagnosed with the measles, to find out everyone that they have been in contact with. This is Nazi Germany. And we all know how dangerous these vaccines are. So to all of the pro-vaxxers, to those people who claim that we are conspiracy theorists, to those who think that we are a danger to the community, you are the danger to the community, and everybody needs to get their voice really strong, really firm, and push back against what is happening here. There are so many articles about anti-vaxxers and how we are the problem. You have to find your voice and get it out there. Strong, loud, firm. And don't take any crap from these pro-vaxxers who claim that you are uh, putting their child at risk who happens to be vaccinated, okay? Talk about idiocy. If your child is vaccinated, what are you so scared about? Yet they've received the vaccine, right? They're protected. This is a video on Aaron Elizabeth at Health Nut News. 953 views. Okay. Um, 45,000 subscribers. Something's wrong with those numbers. We know that they are ditching the truth. We know that they are manipulating the numbers of those who are posting on these deliberate agendas. Um, vaccine agenda is one of those agendas. And we know they're not recommending videos. Uh, they're playing around with the likes. They're doing everything to silence, silence us. And, and then you hear from these authority figures that the anti-vaxxers are spreading misinformation based on fake studies when we are actually getting the information from authoritative sources, like PubMed. It's so outrageous what is happening. 
Why am I upset? I don't like lying. I don't like people like a psychopathic, crazy nut job who, well, they're all over the place and they happen to be in uh, government positions and they wield a lot of power. I don't care. Um, you know, somehow our psyche needs to um, be improved. Our moral core, our, our spiritual self, we need to get stronger. Um, because they're coming after all of us. But this guy is a danger to anyone. Certainly a danger to children. De Blasio. New Yorkers recognize this guy for who he is. He's lying through his teeth, pushing vaccines, where there are thousands of studies that show these vaccines are dangerous because of their ingredients. This interview with a doctor in Brooklyn, whose father is Jewish, whose mother is, is Catholic, they're targeting the Orthodox Jewish community, which is really interesting because certainly in New York, the Orthodox Jews have a lot of power. Why do they have power? Because they organize. They're not waiting for somebody else to fix it. They're not sitting back saying, oh, good, Trump's in office, so now I can just relax and continue to watch TV. They're not waiting for Jesus to come back and make everything good again. They organize. They fight. They fight to protect their families. They fight to protect their communities. So it's interesting that this is going on with the uh, Orthodox Jewish community. Wow, uh, I spent some time trying to find out, uh, is there any blowback? Is there any pushback? It's already been, you know, what, maybe 24 hours since, since this order came from the New York Commissioner of uh, the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Order of the Commissioner. Everyone, if you can't prove that you got that MMR, or that you have uh, a measles immunity, everyone within 48 hours, you better get vaccinated. And if you don't, look at the warning. Failure to comply with this order is a violation of 3.05 uh, 3 of the New York City Health Code and a misdemeanor for which you may be subject to civil or criminal fines, forfeiture, penalties, including imprisonment, Nazi Germany. So, um, they claim, they claim the measles is safe. We are the liars. We are putting your children at risk. It is they. I can't stand this. All right. So yeah, New York City's Department of Health ordered mandatory vaccinations April 9 for all persons residing, working, or living in a largely Jewish district of Brooklyn, ostensibly because of hundreds of reported cases of measles. All persons within those zip codes. We are declaring a public health emergency in Williamsburg based on 300 cases of measles. Now, it was not too long ago that certainly the baby boomer generation grew up watching the Brady Bunch and watching other shows where it was the measles. Oh, good. You know, Jan and who the names of the Brady Bunch, I don't know. They all got the measles together. Then Alice got the measles and it was no big deal. And in fact, the kids were happy. They were playing Monopoly. They got to stay home from school. It was not a deadly disease as it is being propagandized as today. So where are all of the older people with their voice? Now, what the hell? The measles? Come on. Okay, well, now we have, now we actually have articles. There was an article yesterday, New York Times. Oh no, an article just today. It was... The New York Times article, 
how to deal with anti-vaxxers. Be nice to them. It was so uh, condescending. You know, be nice to them. They have been indoctrinated in fake, in fake news. All right, now we have anti-vaxxer parents hold measles parties to give their kids the deadly virus so they become immune and don't need the MMR jab. Okay, this is what took place decades ago. And you listen to this one. People attending so-called measles parties, bringing children together to purposely get exposed to measles. As a parent, I have no doubt that each and every parent is making decisions based out of what they believe is best for their children. But as a doctor, a public health practitioner, and a mom, I must warn you that exposing your unvaccinated child to measles is very dangerous. Okay. Um, it, look, either the measles has mutated into or weaponized into something deadly, but I haven't come across that information yet. These people are lying through their teeth. Now, this woman might just be completely and utterly indoctrinated in all, you know, of this propaganda. I don't know. I don't know her. But she is putting out dangerous information. These are the people who are dangerous. These are the people who are dangerous. And the ordinary people who write things like, it's a complete joke, joke, don't even waste your energy thinking about it. So this was a Facebook page that was sent uh, to me via a link, you know, Citizens for Vaccine Safety. And if you want to read uh, regarding what people are saying about what's happening in New York, then I'm going to link below to everything. Yeah, Nuremberg Code, the voluntary consent of the human subject is absolutely essential. This flies in the face of, well, our Constitution, the Nuremberg Code. But it's a test case to see how far they can go. And if they, if they win on this, we're going to see this more and more all over the country. And they're, look, the fake news is mainstream media news. They write whatever the hell they want. Oh, an outbreak of measles. We don't even know if there's an outbreak. Or they call, you know, 12 cases. Oh, it's an outbreak. We have to declare uh, a, a, uh, a health crisis. And therefore, we enact the emergency powers that we have. And we're going to mandate vaccination. Very easy. Very easy to do here, okay? But I have to say, I like what one person left as a comment, which is, this is why we had the Second Amendment. This is why we have the Second Amendment, to fight against the tyranny. And this is tyranny. You're looking at tyranny, obvious in your face. See it for what it is, please. And don't delude yourself into thinking that it's just Bill de Blasio and the health commissioner. They care about children, and they want to make sure that those children are healthy. Bullshit. So, New York City officials list wrong zip code for the measles vaccination order, then changed it without telling anyone. Wow. Okay. So, they put down the wrong zip codes, but they don't tell anybody. When they change those zip codes, so how many people are falling into getting vaccinated thinking that their zip code, well, I've got to get vaccinated, dear. Going down to my local you know, CVS or supermarket or wherever, I can get that free vaccine. Um, but they didn't have to. They didn't have to. I don't think that they make these mistakes mistakenly. I think it's purposeful to get more and more people vaccinated.
All right. I want to bring your attention to a documentary that is, I watched the first half hour. Yes, it's 54 minutes. Please, those of you who say, can't you make your videos five minutes? I don't have any time. Guess what? We're at war. Stop with your immature bullshit. Kids are being destroyed. Their health is being destroyed. They're being killed, murdered by these vaccines. And you want to bitch and complain because a video is too long for you? Then please, could you just click on the link and circulate it if you can't be bothered listening to information in this video, Soul Pressed, The Deeper Truth About Vaccines. And I learned in just 30 minutes, I learned new information that I had not had. That's why I actually do listen to, because uh, there's always something to learn. I, I, this is a subscriber's son did this video and kudos to you because it really is a very good detailed video that it can be circulated. You know, I understand. I, well, some people call it, you're so passionate, love you for it. Other people, sick and tired of hearing how angry you are, unsub. I don't care what your opinion is. I have said, and that's why I link below, please circulate the information. You don't have to circulate my videos. But when I see a video that is well done, and I do believe that anybody who is of sound mind watching this video will want to circulate it further, but also anybody who just needs to learn about the dangers of these vaccines, well, if they're of sound mind, they will pay attention to what uh, is being said in this video. Now, he goes into detail about these ingredients in the vaccines. And the, the most common ingredients, aluminum, the toxicity of aluminum is known. So all of the information is very obvious. That's, this is what is scary because these vaccines have so many dangerous ingredients. Ingredients that are known, toxins that are known to uh, cause a wide range of adverse effects. And we're not talking, oh, I have a headache and I threw up after the vaccine and I got a little dizzy. We are talking about permanent neurological disorders, permanent autoimmune disorders, permanent brain damage. We're not talking about small side effects. So uh, I'll let you listen to just a few minutes. On here we find a document titled Vaccine Ingredients Sorted by Vaccine. We will take a look at this shortly. First, let's go over to the few ingredients they list directly on their website. Aluminum is said to promote a more potent immune system response. Let's check this out, especially considering this is a heavy metal. Here is a submission in the National Library of Medicine on aluminum toxicity. What is the risk of aluminum as a neurotoxin? Aluminum is neurotoxic. It's highly biologically reactive and uniquely equipped to do damage to essential cellular biochemistry. Aluminum is present in the human brain and it accumulates with age. The most recent research demonstrates that a significant portion of individuals older than 70 years of age have a potentially pathological accumulation of aluminum somewhere in their brain. Here's another submission to the Library of Medicine. This one specifically we're talking about, the vaccine adjuvant of aluminum. Aluminum vaccine adjuvants, are they safe? 
Aluminum is an experimentally demonstrated neurotoxin in the most commonly used vaccine adjuvant. Despite almost 90 years of widespread use of aluminum adjuvants, medical science's understanding about their mechanisms of action is still remarkably poor. There is also a concerning scarcity of data on toxicology and pharmacokinetics of these compounds. In spite of this, the notion that aluminum in vaccines is safe and appears to be widely accepted. Experimental research, however, clearly shows that aluminum adjuvants have a potential to induce serious immunological disorders in humans. In particular, aluminum in adjuvant form carries a risk for autoimmunity, long-term brain inflammation, and associated neurological complications, and may thus have profound and widespread adverse health consequences. The possibility that vaccine benefits may have been overrated and the risk of potential adverse effects underestimated has not been rigorously evaluated in the medical and scientific community. We hope that the present paper will provide a framework for a much needed and long overdue assessment of this highly contentious medical issue. Okay, now he goes through the most common ingredients and detailing how toxic they are, but then also shows all of the ingredients in these vaccines, the MMR included, and uh, thank you, because I know that Producing videos like this, it does take an awful lot of time and effort. And those who do this research put together these videos. I, they have care. They care. That's why they're doing it. And he also just, he has that video, you know, um, flare that I don't. Okay, I will link below. Please, please watch it. And even if you think that you know everything about the vaccines and don't want to watch it or it's too long or whatever, could you just click on the link below and circulate it? Thank you. Here's another video, Dr. Bergman. And, and the, the truth, truth will set you free. free. Thank, Thank God, God because, because most of our population is going to be incarcerated pretty, pretty soon. soon. Okay, okay um, well, we're, we're talking, talking about science-based decisions and, and fear-based fear -based decisions. We're going to bring up a lot of facts because uh, your, your rights, rights are being, being taken away very, very rapidly. Very, very rapidly. There's, There's some things happening in New York and California that people need to be informed on. I want, I want to go, go back to doing talks about anatomy, physiology, neurology, how to regenerate, regenerate the brain. So, so if they, they stop, stop doing the stupid, stupid craziness. craziness we'll and it's not stupid craziness. This, what is happening, it's, it, if it was just crazy kind of stuff that didn't have life-threatening consequences attached to it, then we would all be posting the videos that we want to be posting. Well... When you care, you can't. Everything stops, and this is what you have to post on. And unfortunately, yeah, we are being, being silenced. That's why we need more and more and more people out in real life, but also in the cyber world, posting the truth. You know, adults, you have every right to do whatever it is that you want to do. You have the information about 
uh, dimerosol and flu vaccines, mercury and flu vaccines. You know what will happen to you with mercury in your body, but you line up to get that free vaccine, go for it. Go for it. We do not have the right to do this to children, to destroy their life. We do not have the right, nor do parents have the right, to destroy their children. And we do have an awful lot of people who, well, uh, parents, they won't do the research. They're listening to their mainstream media authorities. They're listening to their government authority figures. They're children who should not have had children. Your responsibility, your number one responsibility as a parent is to ensure and protect your child's health, their safety. Any parent who does not do, and look, this has been going on for years. Vaccine controversy has been going on for years. So for anybody who doesn't know that, oh, there are anti-vaxxers out there, who are putting out the fake news from fake studies, the bullshit that you hear from your government officials and mainstream media. If you're not checking to see yourself, if you're not doing the research yourself before you get your child vaccinated, you should not have had children. And grandparents who have adult children who are not listening, I've heard from many of you, who have been completely abandoned by your adult children. But you know what? You don't have blood on your hands. You tried to get through to them. You have to take the action. If you remain silent, then you are absolutely 100% complicit. You are indirectly responsible for the damage that occurs to that child. There's no, you, you, you can think you're not, go ahead, but you are complicit. You have responsibility there. And all adults, whether you have children or not, it is our job to protect children. We are, in fact, social uh, relational beings. You know, we have family, we have communities, we have, and we are all responsible for one another, especially the children. So, it doesn't matter if you don't have children and you just think, oh, what a shame this is all going on, and then you do nothing. Uh-uh, not good. Not good. And what's happening in New York should be the wake-up call to the wake-up community that, okay, maybe I've been a little bit too inactive and really silent. Now I really need to speak up. Yeah. Because once it's, you know, mandated and you're held at gunpoint to get vaccinated or thrown in jail because you refuse, you're going to see and we're all going to feel the consequences of what is taking place right now in New York. I'm going to go back to that, but this is crazy. I like this uh, comment here. The people silence is the tyrant's greatest advocate. The less captives talked, the less they knew. The less they knew, the more they feared. The more they feared, the more easily others could manipulate them to their own ends. And then the more easily the captives could be controlled. Welcome, Welcome to America. America. So, so it's fear-based, fear -based, not knowledge-based. Knowledge now, this, this is not, this is April 2nd, okay? April 2nd. It's not April 1st. First. So, so when I bring this up, up you might think, think oh my God, God he is so full of it. it. Okay? okay? Force, Force medical procedures without informed consent. consent. I'm, I'm looking at, at the informed consent. consent. We're going to do a whole talk on a risk-benefit ratio of any medical procedure. Nuremberg trials say that you must be informed of the risks and the benefits, and then you should decide, except for vaccines. Medical doctors who write exemptions have their actions questions and reviewed by the medical board. 
Um, um, and, and they're, they're looking, looking at, at this a lot because, because they've, they've taken, taken away personal beliefs so you can't, can't decide, decide for yourself. They've, they've taken, taken away religion, so if you think your body is self-healing, self-regulating, built by God, God and you, and you have, have a, a personal belief system, system or a religious belief that your body doesn't want outside, outside influences, influences, that doesn't matter. matter. Now, now, if a doctor wants to look at you and look, look at your medical history, history look at your immune system status, and, and says, says, you know, I don't, I don't think this is appropriate, appropriate. he gets written up by the board. Okay. okay. Now, now, medical, medical exemptions, exemptions will be reviewed by the state public health officers. So, so these are not people that have looked, looked at you. They are going, going to look at the form. They are not your physician. They are going to make sure that your physician is compliant with the required requirements. And, and if he is not required, then he could lose his license and you for sure would lose your exemption. So you must have those papers. You must have your papers. Okay. There's an awful lot of people who are getting the connection between what's happening today and what happened in Nazi Germany. You know, Merck, the manufacturer of the MMR, inserts. When you bring your child to a pediatrician to get vaccinated, does that pediatrician give you an insert? And have you look at this insert before you get your child vaccinated? No. Every parent should demand the insert and you need to read it to find out what is in this vaccine. And for some reason, crazy reason, they've chosen measles, which was a nothing disease, okay? Um, no, children did not die from the measles. Yes, parents did have measles parties within their communities so that all the kids could get the measles at the same time and then enjoy a lifetime immunity where they didn't have to get jabbed with the MMR over and over and over again, getting more toxins because it's not just one jab, it's several jabs. Uh, I, you know, I said in a video, did they choose the measles just to see how utterly insane Americans are that they cannot think anymore? I have to wonder. So the adverse effects of these vaccines are in the insert, okay? Adverse reactions, body as a whole, atypical me measles, fever, dizziness, malaise, irritability. If that was the only problem, fine, but it's not. There are cardiovascular uh, adverse effects, digestive system effects, pancreatitis, diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, endocrine system effects, diabetes. Um, th there are so many. Immune system, your immune system, uh, well, autoimmune disorders exponentially increasing as these vaccines increase muscular system uh, arthritis myalgia fibromyalgia chronic pain uh, arthritis chronic arthritis um, their <laughs> encephalitis and pneumonia is also one of them okay so they say measles if a child has the measles they can it can develop into encephalitis or pneumonia. But here, the insert, adverse effects, pneumonia, encephalitis. So, well, are you going to risk your child getting the measles and maybe get encephalitis and, and pneumonia, which is very rare from just the measles itself? Or are you going to play Russian roulette with your child, get them vaccinated, and, well, they may get encephalitis, pneumonia from the vaccine, but they may also get, well, uh, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, um, Guillain-Barre syndrome, chronic arthritis, nerve deafness, eye problems, uh, 
allergies. Uh, death. How about death? How about death? Are you really going to risk your child, your child's health, your child's life by getting them vaccinated? Or are you better off just allowing them to get the measles? It's right here for you. They can get the measles from the measles vaccine. They're injected with a live virus. And it is the vaccinated kids who are causing the outbreaks, not the unvaccinated. Gillian Barre syndrome, fevers, convulsions, seizures. So every, every parent should be asking for the insert of every vaccine. You, you have the right to know what is being injected into your child, into their body. Now they're going to be putting food additives into the flu vaccine. And we know how great those food additives are in our food. Okay, I'm going to link below to this site, vaccination, mumps, measles, rubella. Where did I get this from? Green Med Info. Um, let's go to the, to the front page of Green Med Info. And it has a tremendous amount of information that you really need here immunologist, Harvard Stanford trained, unvaccinated children pose no extra danger to the public. All right, this is the PDF that you can get on the site. Here, sorry, wrong, wrong page. Three hundred and fifty seven pages. Vaccination. All of them. Source. U.S. National Library of Medicine. Authoritative source. These are not fake studies. All the vaccinations right here. You will have abstracts of all of the studies. Three hundred and fifty seven pages right here. One document. Print it out. You have adult children who want to vaccinate your grandchildren, print it out, hand it to them, and then your hands are clean. Uh, you, you, you can't, you've got to let, you've got to take the action and let go of the results. But you have to take the action. Now, the uh, actual abstracts come in a while. But this is just all of the numbers related to the vaccines. And let me bring you down to the abstracts, OK? Um, anaphylaxis, the flu vaccine. Uh, it, it's remarkable. Serious adverse reactions um, from routine childhood vaccines. These are peer-reviewed studies, OK? peer-reviewed studies. Now, it is a very strange time that we are living because we can't seem to get through to people. It's almost like facts and evidence have become obsolete. They don't care. Their opinion's good enough. Their opinion's good enough, and they call us crazy. All right? They call us crazy. If you go to their site, and you, there is, hang on for one sec. I will link below to this page, 200 evidence-based reasons not to vaccinate, not to vaccinate. The free PDF download is that download that I just showed you. This will arm you against those people who claim that you're not, that you're just relying on fake studies as Bill de Blasio, uh, mayor of New York City, 
stated in his conference yesterday. These are not fake studies. Um, but you go to the site, this is the page. Okay, you press on these hyperlinks, okay? Vaccinations, rabies, tetanus, hepatitis B, rotavirus, measles, mumps, rubella. Click it on click on it, and it will bring you to now this was years ago, so there are more studies than are listed on this site. But here, 47 abstracts with vaccination, the MMR proving adverse effects, serious adverse effects. Children vaccinated with MMR before age 10 are at significantly higher risk of multiple sclerosis. Now, now they're including another vaccine in the MMR. I think it's called ProQuad. You've got, as a parent, you have to find out. They're in, in one vaccine, you get, you get your child dosed up with so many poisonous toxins from four vaccines. So the chicken pox now is included. Uh, look guys, this is not a joke, okay? This is the war that we are in. No nope, bombs not dropping. Bullets not flying past your face. This is the war. Those who are our treasonous enemies have infiltrated government. They sit now in positions of power like Bill de Blasio, like the health commissioner. They're all over in our universities, in our colleges, in our uh, school boards, um, government local government, state government, federal government, and this is the war that they are waging. Yeah, it's very hard to comprehend this, but if you don't take a step back and really do the research to find out what I and other people are saying, then you are, you've made yourself the enemy. If you do not do the research and inform yourself about what is taking place, you are the enemy because you will work against all of us who are doing whatever it is that we can. You will fight us. You will just continue on with your willful ignorance as more and more people have to suffer these consequences of this war. And when it comes to children, I am sorry. You want to claim that I'm too emotional and you don't want to listen to me? I don't care. I do not care. I wish I would hear more and more people express their emotions about children being murdered, children being destroyed. And then the ripple effect of that destruction, the family getting destroyed. And we have, we have <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of thousands of children just in this country alone. So, you know, maybe people have a different view of what is taking place. Maybe people don't care. Maybe they just, ah, yeah, let me just get some information about more children being destroyed. And, uh, hell, let me get the information about what else is taking place that ensures that, yeah, we've uh, now become a tyranny and there's no going back. I just want that information and no, no I'm not going to do anything with it. I don't give shit because I'm not suffering the consequences. I can just go about my business and I know a lot of you. I've met a lot of you that do exactly that. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I 
so respect. I get energized by people like this. Dr. James Meehan, who wrote a rather passionate article, Blood of Every Vaccine Injured or Killed Child on Hands of Murder by Vaccine Pediatricians. This is a man who sees clearly what is taking place. Murder by vaccine. And I'm going to read some of it. You should be fighting like hell for the safety of our children from even the most remote possibility that vaccines aren't as safe as they could be or aren't as safe as we are being told. Instead of fighting for truth and safety, you're fighting like rats for your piece of cheese. Okay. Talk about parents who should be doing the research because they are the ultimate authority. The buck stops with you parents. Doesn't stop with government officials. You do not get to say, well, my governor mandated it. No. No, I'm sorry. You don't get to pass off your responsibility. Absolve yourself. Not when there is so much information out there and you should have done the research. Now, do I not have any care or compassion about you or your child? No, I can get angry and have compassion and care at the same time. Pediatricians, medical doctors, anybody in the medical profession, if you have not done the research to find out what these anti-vaxxers are saying, if you have not done that research to find out that these vaccines are incredibly dangerous, they're lethal, then you do not deserve to be in your prof profession. You can't rely on your pharmaceutical rep that shows up with these vaccines. That is, you can't absolve yourself. Well, my rep told me they weren't dangerous. Oh, and my medical school, that was my training. Hey, I got three hours training on vaccines. And lo and behold, I wasn't told about the ingredients or the adverse effects. Sorry. Way too much controversy over the years. You should be doing the research yourself. And if you are not, you are a danger to your patients. Old, young, middle-aged, you're a danger. And you don't get to pass off your responsibility. Any child who has died from a vaccine that you injected that child with, you're a murderer. I have zero respect for vaccine profiteers. They're so financially biased, com confirmation biased, indoctrinated, and willfully ignorant of the evidence that clearly shows vaccines cause injury, disease, and regressive autism that they aggressively lobby lawmakers to make vaccines mandatory and deny parents the essential knowledge about the risks of toxic ingredients injected into their babies. When parents do ask, the arrogance of these doctors, these pediatricians, well, you need to stand firm. Regardless of how they behave, you need to stand firm and not suddenly get scared. Oh my God, you know, this, this authority figure is, is telling me I'm bad and he's really angry at me and he's arrogant and he knows and I don't and I'm stupid and he's not. No, no, you're both adults. I don't give a shit what medical degrees this guy has or this woman, it doesn't matter. You're both adults, you're equal, that guy, that guy, woman is doing their job. That's it. That's their job. You've got a job. You're a parent. And that job is the most important job. Most important job, women, feminists. You have a child? You better take that job seriously. Because it won't matter. No matter what success you make in the corporate world or uh, whatever material success, if you're not a success in bringing up that child, you have failed miserably. <sighs> 
bought by Big Pharma. Yeah, th so they're not telling uh, the parents about the ingredients. They're not doing that informed consent. And parents, you've got to demand it. You have to demand it. And if you do get that response from a pediatrician, the arrogance and how dare you question my authority, my knowledge, I'm the expert here. If you get that, walk out. Because that is a pediatrician that is a danger. That's a pediatrician who's all about themselves. Their ego rules them. They should be all about their patients, especially when it comes to children. Bought by Big Pharma, the caretakers of children's health have become the perpetrators of harm rather than the protectors. They profit as our precious, perfect children are harmed and killed by vaccines filled with cheap preservatives, neurotoxic adjuvants, and human cellular material derived from aborted feeder, fetal cell lines. They are complicit accomplices in the murder by vaccine crimes. No, they're direct. They're not complicit. They are directly assaulting your children. And should your ch ch child die, they've murdered your children. You can't see it any other way. Not with all the information that's out there now. You cannot see it any other way. Murder by vaccine crimes that have made American infants the most vaccinated and the most likely to die in the first year of life. Infant mortality rate, the highest rate in all developed nations, is a national tragedy. The epidemic of autism, autoimmune diseases, asthma, allergies, ADHD, and pediatric cancers is far worse. The evidence is everywhere. There are over 200 vaccines in the pipeline. Oh, more and more vaccines are coming out. The blood of every vaccine injured or killed child is on the hands of every pediatrician that parroted lies like vaccines do not cause autism and the science is settled. The science isn't settled. It is corrupt. So no, you do not have a right to demand the others are vaccinated. And anybody who says that, anybody who says to you, you are a danger to your community because you're not vaccinating your children, I hope that you have the strength to stand up to them and put them in their place and tell them, I'm not. I'm informed. You're the danger. I will link below to everything. Please check out this documentary, Soul Press, The Deeper Truth About Vaccines. This is an unprecedented time that we are living. Americans are showing their true colors. Yes, I understand they are subjected to an awful lot of poisons and the fluoride and the frequencies and all, but you know what? I noticed this in, in Americans in the 80s. They were all about themselves, talking a good game. But when it came, you know, the push, shove, did they act? No. And these were my friends. Self-centered, in the extreme, cared only about their own life, wanting to have fun. That was in the early 80s when we were not. We still had food that sustained our health. We still had air that was relatively clean to breathe. We still had our brains and a choice of what we were going to do with that brain. We still had that choice. And a whole lot of people didn't do much with it. Those are the people who are very easily manipulated by all of the poisons, certainly the frequencies now that we are subjected to. So I don't, I'm sorry. I just, um, you know, it takes a lot of work, a whole lot of work to uh, 
to deal with this time that we are living. And yeah, Americans also love to believe that they're hard workers when they are lazy as shit. You're programmed, you're, you, you live these robotic lives, and you go to work, you pay your bills, and that's enough to, uh, for Americans to think that they're good people. And I'm not lazy. I go to work every day. You're programmed. It's very easy to slip in to routine. It doesn't mean you're not lazy. Breaking out of that routine, thinking outside the box, doing something different, that is what defines not lazy. You won't do anything different. You, you're just going to go on while people are dying around you. I don't think it takes much to define the character of that human being. Yeah, a whole lot of people get upset at me. Oh, you know, you're, you're uh, insulting your subscribers. You're doing this, you're doing that. Eight years of doing this, watching everything get worse. Eight years of watching more and more children suffer the consequences of this. You can think what you want. I don't care. I frankly wish everybody was as outraged as I am because that outrage, when people come together and they are outraged, there's a good energy that comes from that. And it propels them to take action. Unfortunately, I'm surrounded by people who just don't care. All links are below.